A whistleblower has stepped up regarding J6 because the FBI called them white supremes. Yeah, this guy says, hold on there, pump your brakes. I'm Jasper Gonzo, and this is What's Next. Hey, what's up, guys? Jasper Gonzo here. Another What's Next. How are you guys doing today on this Wednesday? Well, I haven't done many videos regarding the J6 dumpster fire, the nonsense, the shenanigans, the garbage that is constantly being spewed and still continues to do so in the light of Donald Trump hasn't been in the White House for two years. But then again, they've been going after him for the better part of almost six now, while Joe Dementia continues to destroy the nation as Nazi Joe. But now with the debacle, that happened in Mar-a-Lago regarding the FBI and, of course, who knew what and when did they know it. And it turned out that any so-called documentation, you know, classified documentation wasn't really classified at all. Here come a whistleblower. Here comes a whistleblower basically slapping the FBI in the face and saying, guess what? You were trying to run a scheme calling the J6ers a white supreme group domestic violent extremist group and now I'm calling you out on it let's take a look this comes out of Breitbart whistleblower alleges FBI scheme to distort January 6 cases into a nationwide domestic violent extremism epidemic that is Christopher Ray ass clown of the FBI a whistleblower has accused the FBI Washington field office of using cases related to J6 Capitol riot to overstate the threat of domestic violent extremism in America, according to Judicial Committee ranking member Jim Jordan out of Ohio. The whistleblower alleged the FBI office did not follow standard investigative practices for the J6 cases when it moved the cases from various local offices around the country based on where the cases were subjected from. Washington reve uh, Jordan revealed in a letter addressed to the FBI director Christopher Wray on Monday. January 6 cases should all be officially led by WFO, Washington Field Office, and categorized as WFO cases. According to the letter, but instead a task force, quote unquote, dispatched instructions to open J6 investigations to local field offices nationwide, basically taking them all, putting them under one umbrella and calling them extremism. The local offices re, uh, receive the cases, make it look like if they were conducting investigations on the case, when in reality, the offices continue to conduct the bulk of the work according to the letter. The whistleblower toward, told Jim Jordan. The manipulative case file practices creates false misleading crime statistics. Instead of hundreds of investigations stemming from a single black swan incident at the Capitol, FBI, DOJ officials point to significant increases in domestic violent extremism and terrorism around the United States. So if you've got certain situations going on around the country that are truly domestic violent and terrorism, yeah, let's just take the riot at J6, put them together, and there you go. Evil, evil. Trump supporters. Jordan, or Jordan noted in the letter, such an artificial categorization scheme allowed FBI leaders to misleadingly point to significant increases in DVE, domestic violent extremism, threats nationwide, which supports a narrative being perpetuated excuse me, by the Biden administration. Surprised? The whistleblower also alleged that J6 cases were uh, inappropriately taking priority over other cases, citing the instance of being told that child sex abuse material investigations were no longer an FBI priority. Yes, who cares if little Johnny's getting abused? You know, who cares about that? It's about Chewbacca led J6. They are the real threat. How dare you? We're no longer an FBI priority and should be referred to local law enforcement agencies. Yes, let's just dump these little cases onto the local law enforcement. Of course, there is the letter right there. I won't go into the letter because the letter is extremely long. Uh, the whistleblower allegedly comes uh, um, the, the whistleblower allegation, excuse me, comes after a, at least two other whistleblowers indicated uh, to Jordan in July that FBI officials were pressuring agents to reclassify cases as domestic violent extremism despite being limited evidence to do so. Jordan's office clarified to Breitbart that the latest revelation in J6 cases specify, specifically came from a new whistleblower, meaning that at least three FBI whistleblowers have now come forward to Jordan about the FBI inflating domestic violent extreme cases and their numbers. It goes on a little bit longer, but 
But uh, not a surprise that the FBI, after their wonderful investigations at Mar-a-Lago, would actually do something like this. The FBI is a dumpster fire. It's a clown show. It's sadly an organization that you really don't have any respect for anymore because now they are doing political wills instead of actually doing investigations regarding crime scenes and evidence. This is where we're at right now. So now you have a third whistleblower stepping up and says, no, you guys are basically putting everything under this one umbrella that any domestic terrorism or violence that goes across that goes on in, in the country regarding extremism. It's in regards to those who appeared January 6th in the Capitol. So because a Chewbacca led group got into the Capitol, now they are the faces of white Supremes domestic violence that it goes across this country. Wow. 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 Makes you proud to be an American, huh? Doesn't it? And with that being said, I'm Jasper Gonzo. This is what's next. You want to see more each other like this? Please leave a comment below. Like it, share it, subscribe to it. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.